two go into place. Uh oh, okay. we've got a problem. We built the wall around him. Help! <laughs> I'm lost in Brady Land. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Dave's back from breaking more news, and now we're joined by HGTV star and home renovator, designer, and all-around boss lady Jasmine Roth. Hey, how are you, Jasmine? <laughs> Hi guys, good to see you. Good to see you too. You know, this fall you were part of a very Brady renovation where you worked with other HGTV stars to renovate the iconic real life Brady Bunch house. My boss Andy Cohen did a whole cosplay thing. He was obsessed with it. Uh, we love it here. In a nutshell, what was that experience like for you? I mean, it was completely surreal, right? I mean, there's nothing else like the Brady Bunch. And I always tell everybody, like, I'm definitely living my mom's best life <laughs> because <laughs> she grew up watching the Brady Bunch. I grew up watching the Brady Bunch with her. And to have all six Brady kids, right, they're not kids anymore, to work on this house and be so involved and just so into it and to have their firsthand experience um, as the guiding light through this whole project was so cool. I love that. It must have been totally surreal for them, but what was it like working with all those TV icons? Um, insane. <laughs> it was like the first day we got there, I'm meeting them all and they're introducing themselves. I'm like, I know who you guys are. Like everybody knows who you guys are. This is crazy. And I didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't know if they were going to be ready to actually work and want to do construction or if they were going to want to be more like, I don't know, actors <laughs> and kind of, you know, just be along for the ride. They wanted to work. They wanted to get into it. They loved the idea of the set that they grew up on becoming a real house. And that's exactly what we did. And they were, they were really, really into it. I love that. That sounds highly intimidating. And also, what was it like, though, working with all those HGTV stars? I mean, you all have your own shows. Was there a sense of competitiveness on set between you all? Well... I don't know if I'd say competitive as much as <laughs> just like a mutual admiration. I was definitely the newbie. So for me, it was completely insane to be able to work with all of these people who, I, I mean, I grew up watching their shows. I've come into my career watching their shows. And now to be able to work with them next to them, shoulder to shoulder, was so cool. Um, so for me, it was definitely this like, oh my gosh, like this is really happening moment. Um, and everybody was so nice. It wasn't competitive. It was uh, just really fun to all work together. And it was a huge project. So I think each of us felt really happy that everybody was there because we needed each other. Like we literally needed all the help we could get. Did you get any good tips from any of them that you could apply to your own work? Oh man, yeah, so I worked a lot with Barry Williams and I mean, of course he's Greg Brady. Um, and so he, <laughs> he, uh, he's an actor and he's a trained actor. I'm not an actor, I do reality TV. I do what I do and there just so happens to be a camera there. So, um, you know, sometimes um, he would be like in a really great mood and I'm like, what's going on, man? How, why are you having such a great day? He's like, oh, he's like, this is just me turning on my Brady personality. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm like, what's a Brady personality? And he's like, he's like, you need to be able to just have that Brady personality. And so uh, that was kind of the, the ongoing thing, like just get that Brady personality. Happiness <laughs> all the time. You know, I'm curious, when you got approached about rejoining forces for a holiday edition of the series, were you excited or maybe even a little skeptical? Oh my goodness, I was so excited. I didn't really know how it was gonna play out. I don't know about you guys, but like when my family gets together for Christmas, it's really fun. It's a little stressful. Um, <laughs> the holidays bring out things in people that you might not be expecting. And I'm like, is this gonna be, you know, what is this gonna be like? We'd finished the house, we've moved on, we've all gone back to our lives, and now we're gonna come back together and like just hang out in the house? That sounds amazing. So um, yeah, that's exactly what happened. And it was, I was a little skeptical, but um, once we got there and started working on the house, it was just like we went home for the holidays. And you're constructing holiday decorations on the show with this Brady Bunch cast. Are you big on holiday decorations in your own home? Yes, so fun fact, 
<laughs> I'm actually posting it today. My house is completely decorated because for HGTV, I did a photo shoot and that meant that I decorated my house like two weeks early and my husband's like, what is going on in our house? I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> but, oh, um, awesome. you know, Ree and I, we had such a fun time um, getting this house ready for the holidays. I do a lot of DIYs in my own house. And so to be able to do those with the Brady's 70s themed holiday decor, I mean, is there anything better? That's, no, it sounds amazing. Is there what's the what's the one thing that I could possibly recreate in my own home? Oh, uh, definitely not Ree's cooking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a good chef, though. I'm like looking at everything she made, and I'm like, how did you make all of this? This looks so good, and it was delicious. I was like, I'm gonna try to make this this year. But um, for for the DIY projects, we did some really fun stuff, and literally everything we did. Oh. One of them that we did that was so fun, we used big beach balls and we made them into uh, yard ornaments that were really, really fun. So I think oh, that would be smart. one that you might be into. Cool, That's okay. That's so smart. Well, it's been seven years since you quit your corporate day job to pursue your love of renovating houses in 2012. And now you're rocking it as a celebrity renovator with shows including Hidden Potential and Rock the Block. What has been the most exciting show to be a part of, would you say? I mean, the Brady Show was once in a lifetime, and I didn't think anything could top that. And I don't know, then we started doing Rock the Block, and I got real sucked in. So <laughs> Rock the Block was a competition show, which I, I don't know, I don't really consider myself like drama or even maybe even competitive. And I got in there, and it was, it was the real deal. I mean, it was one month of absolute craziness and not knowing what the competition was doing, giving it my all, trying as hard as I possibly could to win. And it was really fun. Again, really competitive, but a lot of like mutual respect for the other girls. So I'd say Rock the Block was the biggest show I've been a part of and uh, somewhere I never, ever expected to be, especially in seven years. And you won too, right? You won Rock the Block. I did. <laughs> yeah. I know, you're being like coy about yeah, the fact right. that you were like the big winner. Did you, uh, are you still rubbing that in the faces of your competitors? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, I mean, I, I, this sounds cheesy, you guys, but I truly believe that like, just being a part of that show, I mean, all these girls, like the four of us, we all have our own TV shows. That's a win. And just to be invited was a huge win. Obviously, somebody had to win. I worked really, really hard, and I'm glad it was me. Um, but everybody did such a great job. And it, you know what was really the coolest part of that? Was seeing the same exact house four ways, yeah, which I don't right. think you really get to do that often. Um, and it was just, it was so cool to walk through the other girls' houses and like, oh my gosh, when I were, walked into Leanne's house, I was like, I'm going to quit my job. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was so good. Exactly. It was well, really good. Well, you're quite a family-oriented person as well. What's your key to balancing work and home life? You're so busy. So, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm pregnant. <laughs> so, oh, congratulations. I'm, uh, yeah. Congrats. I know. Um, actually, people, yeah, people broke the news a little while ago. And, um, but I, you can't really tell yet. Like, I, I have my first pair of maternity jeans on today. So, that's Ooh. a thing. And um, a, a lot's changing. So, um, balancing work and home has always been something that's really important for myself. And my husband, he also works a lot. Uh, but now, more than ever, it's something that I have to make my home life a priority. And I think, you know, being able to work with these other HGTV hosts and seeing how they do it. Um, Mina has a baby. Leanne has a baby. And um, I'm really leaning on them and asking them a lot of questions. Um, but, yeah, so I'm due at the end of April and filming right up until the baby arrives. I mean... <sighs> I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the film crew at the door of the hospital though. They're not coming in with me. <laughs> well, I'm born at the end of April, so let me just tell you, you've got to have a good Taurus on your hands. <laughs> Do you know if you're having a boy or All a right. girl yet? Not yet, but I'm going to find out. And um, we're, I know you're gonna ask me what I'm hoping for. I honestly, no, no, I, no. I, it's a 50/50 chance, <laughs> and my husband and I are both just like we just want a healthy baby. But I am gonna find out. And how does Brett feel? He's so excited. He's <laughs> super excited. Um, just, we, I mean, it's not that we weren't trying, but I think with everything going on and everything happening, you just, you kind of forget about it, and then it's something that happens. And even if you are trying, I don't think you're ever, like, really ready. So four and a half months, we've got another six months, and uh, hopefully by then we'll feel a little bit more prepared. I'm building us a house, so I have to finish the house and then 
put the nursery in that house, so. Oh gosh, you are <laughs> busy. Work. I want to date work. you. <laughs> like, how do I get this? Like, no, oh my God. Kidding. I know, she's like, oh, I'm just building a house. Like, yeah, okay, that sounds awesome. So this is exciting because it'll be kind of like your last Thanksgiving and Christmas as a couple. Are you planning on doing anything, just the two of you, before, you know, baby comes? That's a good question. You know, like, uh, for years, we've, we're huge snowboarders, and we travel the world snowboarding. We've been to South America. Um, we spent the last two New Year's in Japan snowboarding. So I feel like we kind of had this list. We've been together for 14 years. So we had this list that we wanted to kind of see the world and travel together and do all these things. And we checked pretty much everything off the list. So it's kind of like we're ready. Like we're ready to just kind of be homebodies for a year or two, settle down, have our baby, um, keep working our butts off like we do, but um, just kind of take a breath and then kind of pick back up because we want to travel with our uh, kids a lot. Is there like a place that you haven't snowboarded yet that's on bucket list? Just so, you know, I, I ski. I want to know what the good hotspots are. Okay, yeah, of course. Um, definitely Alaska is top of my list right now. Um, the problem, I don't know if it's a problem so much, but like you have to go on a helicopter and it's like a whole thing. So, um, yeah, Alaska's on the list, but no snowboarding for me this year. I'm, i got to take the season off, and uh, I'll pick up next season. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. You can, you can ski. You can take my place this year. Done, done. <laughs> and as far as Thanksgiving is concerned, you know, that's obviously coming up so soon. Uh, has there been any, like, cravings that you've been having with the pregnancy that you're really looking forward to chowing down on for Thanksgiving? I mean, I wish I could blame it on the pregnancy, but <laughs> I just, I love Thanksgiving food, uh, mashed potatoes. So I don't really eat carbs usually. I usually eat paleo, which is like really boring. I don't want to get into it, but I don't eat a lot of carbs. And um, <laughs> I feel great because of it. I have a lot of energy. But as soon as I got pregnant, my doctor was like, oh, no, no, none of that. Like, you need to eat carbs and dairy and all this stuff. So I've just been inhaling food, which has been really fun. Um, <laughs> but Thanksgiving is going to be no different. I always eat a ton anyway. So um, yeah, no weird cravings yet, really. Um, more just a lot of nausea dealing with that. But what are you going to do? I, I, I hope there's no nausea on Thanksgiving or ever in your life. But I got to ask, because I asked my friends, are you one of those people that eats Thanksgiving dinner at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon? Or are you doing an actual dinner? We're doing like a mid-afternoon dinner. But the cool thing is, is because we're in California, normally we get to eat outside. Um, but this year, it's supposed to rain. So we're actually going to be inside, which I grew up on the East Coast. And normally, it's like cold and rainy and muddy on Thanksgiving. So it's kind of cool. It's like a throwback to where I grew up. That sounds that awesome. awesome. I want to be invited. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're ready to come. We're we ready are ready to come. to come. Jasmine, thank you so much for joining yeah, us today. And congratul better. congratulations on uh, your baby. Yeah. We're excited to see all the coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tune in to a very Brady Renovation Holiday Edition premiering December 16th on HGTV.